Hello, I'm Sister Lisa Peter, and I'm coming to you today on November the 15th, 2015, from Hazelwood, USA. And the topic of my devotional is From Jerusalem to New Jerusalem. I wrote this poem quite a few years ago, and I'd like to share it with you. It's called More Beautiful Than Jerusalem. I've heard it said that Jerusalem is the most beautiful city on this earth. And though some may not agree, let's say it were so. It would make the fact more meaningful to know that you and I, who may never travel there and see it with our own eyes, if we'll walk and talk and live each day the way that Jesus said, and do the things we know to do and help our fellow man, some day we'll go to a much better land to live forevermore in the new Jerusalem. More beautiful than the most beautiful place on this earth, heaven will be better than anything we've ever seen. There'll be streets of gold, gates of pearl, mansions of our own nothing here on earth can even come close and if we are washed in the blood of the lamb and robed in pure white we'll get to go to the new jerusalem and call it our home that's in the lyrics and poem the melody are so volume two that i wrote quite a few years ago if you see behind me this a little clothes rack with white. I like white shirts, blouses. And across the street, my neighbor lady, Dorothy, she let me borrow one of hers just so I'd have something besides just ones I collected to show other people like white shirts also. And I have this, um, I just started hanging them on this rack, but it re every time I walk past it reminds me of heaven. Heaven where we're going to have white robes. Can you imagine if God has a, has a, walk-in closet, all white robes look something like this. I know you can't see it too good because I'm sitting here. But, let me move out of the way for a second. But see, that's just white shirts, white blouses. Acts 2 and 5 says, And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. They were in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost when the Holy Ghost was being poured out. Revelation 21, 1 through 2, 1 and 2. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Brides wear white pure, clean. Revelation 5 and 9, And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hath redeemed us to God by thy blood, out of every kindred and tongue, and people and nation. Just like on the day of Pentecost, they were out of every nation. Revelation says they're going to be out of every nation. It's born again. Saints, Second Corinthians 3.18, But we all, with open face beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image, from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. The Holy Ghost. We must have the Holy Ghost. Acts 2.38 says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That remission of sins is what's going to make us white. Get rid of all them sins. His blood's going to blot them all out. In the name of Jesus. Haggai 2 and 9 says, The glory of the latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. The peace of God. And that comes couple more verses here. Revelation 3 and 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. Revelation 6 11. And white robes were given unto every one of them. Revelation 7 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these? which are arrayed in white robes.
There's some songs that we're going to sing in my robe of white, the Revelation song. And um, I asked my daughter Marisa, she directs a choir there at her church in Kansas, and I asked her if she'd send me and her kids singing the song, New Jerusalem, Here I Come. And I just, I have a couple sections here, I'm going to play just a little. I heard about the mansion. I heard about the mansion there. Heard about the mansions there. I'm gonna get me one. Oh yeah. Oh, I know. There's a little bit more to it, but that's all I'm gonna play right now. But you know, I am so glad that we can be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Let's get our robes white. Let's live pure and holy. And so in the New Jerusalem, we're going to be wearing the white robes and have the crown that we get to throw back at his feet and praise him, cast our crowns before him because he is worthy of all praise. So God bless you. You have a wonderful day.